there should be there should be sound now sorry i had just turned it on oh my gosh y'all we can't start 2022 unless it's muted this is crazy and then it's telling me oh i see what's wrong okay now i charge this thing i charged this darn thing all day yesterday and it was trying to die today what kind of sense is that I am so sorry. But as I was saying, you still, you can't hear me now? Now you can? You should be at, okay. All right. So, <laughs> as I was saying, we cannot start 2022 unless we're muted, right? We can't start unless we're muted, y'all. I was like, man, everybody's on fire. They miss me. The chat rolling in the corner of my, my peripheral vision. I see the chat going. I'm like, oh, they love me. They're saying, hey. And then it was like, uh... Oh, somebody texted me. I didn't even know who it was. As soon as my phone buzzed, then I'm like, okay, everybody know I'm on the show, so something must be wrong. Muted. Yikes. Anyways, hi, everybody. How are you? It's been like, last time I seen y'all was like last year sometime. It's crazy. How have you been? <laughs> I missed all of you last week. I was sitting there looking around like, man, I want to go live. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I told him no, so I'm not going to go live. But anyways, hopefully you all have been doing well. Tonight's show, we are coming to you so that we can ring the bell for all these beautiful babies that I heard through the grapevine on Facebook that you guys have. And then also, we're coming to talk about our GIT challenge, right? So we started that in November of last year, 2021. And we made some plans. And so tonight we're going to talk about those plans and also talk about some updated plans that will help kick start your business in the pants for 2022. So I'm looking forward to going over that with you all. And I appreciate y'all for chiming in and telling me that I was muted. I really appreciate it. You guys look out for me every time. I swear this channel would be nothing without y'all. So because of that, because of that, we like to say hello to the folks that are in the chat so here in a moment that's something that we're going to do but before i get into that i want to say that here on this channel we do have memberships okay and the memberships on this channel um you can type in our channel name the baby's booty charlotte slash join if you want to join our channel okay those who join the channel have an opportunity to request a bell and if you request a bell a custom bell will be sent to you as part of your membership a lot of times people ask how do i get a bell how do i get a bell can i get a bell yes you can get a bell you have to be a member here on the channel now why is that well the reason for that is because there is a charge to buy bells i do buy them in bulk there's also a charge to have the decals apply to them i have those created and, and applied to the bells as well and shipping is the most expensive part of all of it <laughs> so the shipping membership just one month of membership covers the cost of the bell that's all i ask and then beyond that if you want to retain your membership you can if you don't fine but i appreciate the support and the desire to be a part of the hoop group so the Hoop Group is a totally awesome group of people. I'm going to show you how awesome they are. I'm going to show you just how awesome they are. If you're in our Hoop Group here on our channel, throw in a purple bell in the chat so that you can show them just how awesome you are. I started to say something different, but I'm not going to start my year off like that. But at any rate, <laughs> I appreciate y'all joining us. So let me jump in this chat because I already see a super chat that we're going to ring the bell for. But for those of you who did receive new babies, we do have the bell cooled off. I had it chilling in the refrigerator, so it's nice and cool, ready to be heated up, ring the whole nine, all right? Because we, we figured this bell is going to be smoking tonight, all right? So I'm looking forward to it. I did miss all of you. And also, actually, thank you, T. Johnson. That's a really good question, and I probably should have uh preference with that as well but i'm going to show you here on my um thing once i switch the camera over uh, here we go so if you would like 
to get a bell and you are a member here on our channel our website is thebabiesbooty.com b-a-b-y-s-b-o-o-t-y and if you come right here in the middle of the page there is a picture of the bell if you click that bell you will have a form that you will need to fill out please with your name your email address and here it says youtube username a lot of times people don't realize that you have a youtube username so whenever you type in the chat here on youtube whatever your name is beside your chat is what your youtube username is why is this important because if you're not a member on this channel i won't be able to pull up your youtube username and i need to verify that because it wouldn't be fair for me to send a bail to someone who is not a member when everybody else is a member right right let's keep it fair and then i need your address to know where the mail the bail to all right so please use this form to request your bail i would really appreciate it and that will help make everything go super smooth and allow me to go ahead and get the bail out to you asap all right so sometimes i have to wait on the production of getting the um, labels put on and all of that cool stuff so sometimes there may be a slight delay but i try to get them right out as soon as i get a request all right so hey papa, is watching. Hey, papa how are you welcome thank you for joining us <laughs> i appreciate it so let us jump in the chat now that y'all can hear me right <laughs> and i'm gonna start toward the bottom where you know well no because there were some folks that came in like c cynthia she was first in the house hi c cynthia how are you andrea t is here hello and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member i appreciate it andrea gail moore is here robin bryan is here t johnson is here and you are also a member of the youtube hoop group and we appreciate it thank you barb lafon hey barb how are you welcome thank you for joining us and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member i appreciate it Miss Shayna Krause is here. Hey, Sugar, how are you? Judy Jacobs is here. The Sewing Brett is here. Welcome to you as well. Miss Lila Nelson, thank you so very much for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Mary Brown is here. Welcome. Nicomi Butler is here. Welcome. Miss um, Ethel Smith, hello. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And I need to make sure I'm pronouncing your last name correctly because i always say miss ethel smith but there's a hyphen there and i don't ever say the other part because i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right so one of these days we're gonna have to get together and make sure i'm saying that part right joanna holmes hello kristen smith hello michi black good evening how are you welcome thank you for joining us miss t-shirt chick hello my dear how are you did you get you did you get a real bell i need to send you a bell too fill out that form because i need to send you a bell as well my dear Merlinda Lacey, hello, welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member, and T-Shirt Chick, thank you as well for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Michael Franklin, yes, you finally caught a live, even though you couldn't hear me at first. I apologize for that. Thank you, but that's common here. That, 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 that's pretty common here on this channel. We, you know, tend to have, you know, little hiccups here and there, so it's to be expected. We laugh it off and keep rolling, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> Beverly Smith, hello. Thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. I appreciate it. Diane Myers, hello. Erica McNeil, hello. Shawnee Creek, hello. I was just listening to your jam earlier. Hey, my dear, how are you? Andrew George, Andrew George, sorry. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Mary Cobb, hello. Um, let's see. And then everybody jumped in and was like, you're muted. Yeah, I know, right? Carmen Alvarado, hello. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate that. Uh, Judy Jacobs, thank you. I appreciate that. Tampa Barbecue Queens, thank you as well for trying to let me know what was going on. Kimberly Barber, welcome. Rhonda Jones, Diane Myers, hello. Carlos Armstrong, hello. Welcome. Haven't seen your name. So welcome to our channel. Rogel Crafting, hello. Welcome. <laughs> All these people like, we can't hear you um laura e hello tanya summy hello tanya summy i don't remember your name welcome sandra ellison don't remember your name either welcome thank you for joining us um brenda jones thank you we appreciate that merlinda lacy thank you for being a youtube hoop group member we appreciate that let me make sure yep okay y'all can still hear me all righty uh sheila cushionberry hi sheila cushionberry how are you welcome thank you for joining us this evening i hope everything is well your way charmaine welcome thank you for joining us we appreciate you hanging with us this evening 
um Jeanette Davis thank you for being a YouTube hoop group member we appreciate it we gonna get this bell warmed up here in a minute hang on creations by K. Aisha. hello welcome and thank you as well for being a YouTube hoop group member we appreciate your support of our channel um let's see tina clemens hello tina how are you welcome thank you for joining us sarah alicia i'm assuming hello welcome um dimps designs hey dimps welcome thank you for joining us coretta dangerfield hello welcome thank you for joining us this evening i saw you over at miss patrice so thank you for hanging out with us as well a needle point in time hello and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member i really appreciate it thank you for joining us this evening um let's see we have ursula moore from atlanta georgia welcome my dear thank you for joining us this evening and then big boy prince pops into the chat thank you very much big boy prince for the super chat Woo! first bell of the evening Woo! yes uh oh am i too loud sorry i meant to ring it over here Woo! <laughs> Thank you very much for the super chat. Sorry about that. Cause I was like, oh shoot, I forgot. Cause this microphone is a lot more sensitive than what I was using before. So sorry about that. If I blew out your ears and speakers. Um, let us see. I saw something. There's a buzz. Okay. Uh oh. Tell me, is there a buzz? Is a buzz here? Do you still hear a buzz? It could have been that it's plugged in. I hope that's not it. Hey, the crafty Puerto Rican, how are you? Welcome that to this creations. Hello, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Marissa Dandridge is here. Allison Holloway, hello. Welcome to the both of you. Laura E, welcome as well. Thank you for joining us. Um, we missed that whole story. It wasn't much. It wasn't much, Shayna. And I'm gonna go back into it a little bit more again. <laughs> Hey girl, hey Mary Cobb, how are you? Judy Jacobs, hello, how are you? Um, Demp says rewind, I did a little bit. 2011 Miss Max, thank you for being a YouTube who remember she says my stupid computer and laptop wasn't getting you. I am so glad to see and hear you now. No, it wasn't your stuff. Look, I lay stuff out all the time. You're like, oh, it, it, it was me. <laughs> so hopefully everything is going pretty good so far. Um, let me see. Ray Williams, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We appreciate it. Craftable Things, hello. Welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Making with Marilyn is also a YouTube Hoop Group member. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, my dear. Stevie Steve, 171, good evening to you as well. Lily's Simple Creations, hello. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us um harmony ling is here hello welcome dtc queen good evening uh let's see am i getting caught up no i am no one that caught up y'all been chatting look at all the purple bells i appreciate it let's see i'm a member yes a needle point in time and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member it is definitely appreciated um sarah alicia why introduction loud and clear but when you started muted please advise because i'm just a hot mess is a really nice beautiful soul has said many times and i really appreciate that because i do not hide who i am here on this channel there are mistakes that are made in life and i make them quite frequently quite often and that does happen unfortunately a lot here on this channel even with a note there that says make sure you're unmuted i will still forget and still be muted so that's common so i apologize in advance if it frustrates you but that's how it is around here um melissa died yes you did catch a lot thank you for joining us makita marquita car hello welcome hey debbie d welcome and thank you for being a youtube Hoop group member um and we got some changes coming up for the channel as well and i'm excited to let you guys know about that miss ethel smith thank you so very much for the super chat i apologize for taking so long to find it Woo! yes thank you thank you for the super chat <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> sorry i'm trying not to be too loud with this thing um and then y'all almost forgot how to go like oh no then I was a little bit late because I started a new channel and I was streaming on that channel uh, last week and forgot to switch my streaming information. So I went live right at nine o'clock, like on the dot, I was live. And then I was like, why ain't 
ain't nobody in here. Where is everybody? <laughs> and I was like, oh, shoot, I forgot to change it. So it wasn't transferring over to YouTube. So, but it's a gaming channel, not anything any of anyone in here would probably be interested in. So it's not anything super big. But yes, I did start another channel. Um, I see stuff. Let me scroll down. I'm going to have to come back up, you guys, because I don't like missing the introductions here because Lily Simple Creations is being welcomed to the Hoop Group. Woo! Yes, thank you. We appreciate it. And Miss Barbara Bonaparte, thank you very much for the super chat. Woo! Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Time out. T-shirt chick, if you are in here, if you are in here, I need you to know that you had me rolling. You had me rolling. She was imitating me Friday on her channel. So if you're on, um, have some time on your hands and want to watch a good time, t-shirt check on her channel. She went live Friday um, and she was mimicking craftable things and she was mimicking big boy prints and she was mimicking me and she was ringing the bell, but it wasn't a bell. You need to see that because that was hilarious. But she was like, yes, yes. And it was funny. I'm like, I, <laughs> I had, I was hollering. Cause I'm like, yeah, I do say yes. Woo, yes. <laughs> I didn't think about it. I said it that much, but that was hilarious. I was like, oh Lord, it kind of made me self-conscious, but we have fun. So like I said, yes, honey, yes. Um, Miss Barbara Bonaparte, thank you again for renewing your membership. Woo! A bit of low buzzing okay it's probably because it's plugged up and if so i apologize because if i let me see let me see if it dies if i unplug it now let me know if that got rid of the buzzing but that wasn't very long for it to be plugged up so i don't want it to die on you guys um now really quick i saw that someone asked me how was my holidays, Miss Barbara Bonaparte? Actually, let me put this up here so that I can see it in the event that it does die, because that's going to be frustrating if it does die. Um, and I want to let you guys know that this break that I had um, was a really good break. I took some time and did a lot of things that I absolutely wanted to do for me. All right. Unfortunately, some of that involved, you know, I re remodeling, um, a bedroom that my daughter had when she was here and I'm pulling baseboards off so that I can get it painted. Um, and we're rearranging some things with the room so that I can, cause the craft room that I originally created, which I showed here on this channel, my son moved in. And so he got my craft room because my daughter was already in that bedroom. So now we're trying to determine if we're going to flip flop and all that other jazz. But anyway, long story short, remodeling is in progress. We're doing that. We were already in the process of remodeling um, our floors and whatnot. So I'm still working on that. Um, I also got into, which some of you might have seen my TikTok or my short here on YouTube, I also got into doing resin, okay? So y'all, I have turned into an, a resin fiend, okay? So here's, I've been using this resin. This is uh, UV resin um, and it's by The Best Uni. All right. And her resin is $25 a bottle. Um, so if you were to um, shoot her a message or you can actually email me and I'll get you the link to where you can go and purchase the resin, the UV resin. Um, and it kind of I have always been interested in getting into resin, but I was afraid, not afraid. That's the that's the wrong word. I was cautious about doing resin because resin, you had to do the two parts and it had to be mixed and you had to measure and blah, 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 blah. Well, I didn't know there was a such thing as UV resin, right? So UV resin, you don't have to do the mixing. It's just, this is the resin, right? You pour it in, but you need a UV light to cure it. Um, and the UV light I already had because 
one of the things that I like to do is do my own nails. So um, I use gel polish because I'm very active with my hands. Regular polish lasts all of maybe a week on my nails for whatever reason. Um, but my nails also split a lot. I know I'm going into some personal stuff, but my nails also split a lot. So the gel polish helps keep my nails from splitting as bad as they normally would. So I already had a, a nail lamp. So this is a UV light as you saw just then it lit up. So it worked perfectly. I just used the UV lamp with the resin. Y'all, I have made so much stuff. It's stupid. I've, I've made which I think I showed y'all on the last live I was on, but like this is a little keychain that I made out of resin. And I'm not good good at it yet because like you can see there's bubbles in there. Um, I haven't gotten that down pat yet, but because there are very few things out there for sewing people, I just thought, you know, thread and uh, um, what is it? button put a button and thread and pins and a needle i thought that would be super cute um for a keychain and i already have one keychain asked for even though they're imperfect um but someone already asked for a keychain here's another one that i made because i also got a resin um mold for buttons so i thought that was super cute and i put buttons in one um, and then I also got this one. I had some, um, I had some glitter that were in stars. So I made this one. I mean, I've just been making stuff just because I could y'all. It was just like, Ooh, what am I going to make next? You know, I made, um, I tried to make a dice that didn't turn out too well, but I, a lot of it had to do with the mold. I'm sure. Um, but that didn't turn out quite as well as I wanted it to but I also got a new mold in a couple of days ago and this one has been really fun I've been playing with this for the first time today actually it's not again not perfect yet but like here's one and it's like three layered or something like you're supposed to make it look like the ocean and the beach I'm trying to see if I have one that looks a little bit better but like here's another one and you see a lot of the bubbles because I haven't been doing very well. But the thing is, this is something I wanted to do for me. I was enjoying it. I had a ball making these. You know what I'm saying? This was a lot of fun. So here's another one. This is a, um, you know, I just, this is, this has been really cool. And it was therapeutic. And I just... I don't know how to how else to put it aside from doing the resin I also spent time being booed up you know <laughs> so 2021 was a very busy year for me I haven't been that busy in a long time with a lot of stuff going on a lot of videos a lot of tutorials uh, fulfilling a contracts that I have had accepted and jobs um personal jobs with my own here business and it's just been really busy so he was feeling the effects of me being gone all the time and then i had been online a lot more as well so i was like you know what i'm gonna give you your time so over the last two roughly two and a half weeks i've just been hanging out with him we've been hanging out we've been talking We've been making plans for things in the house and just really enjoying enjoying being empty nesters and enjoying not being have attentions divided. So we actually sat down and like I normally don't watch television. He loves to watch TV, certain shows or whatever. So he he had been watching um MacGyver and a couple other shows and I was like you know what I'll sit and watch with you you know so I sat down and been watching the show with him kind of got into it too that was that's a pretty neat show so anyways it's it's been a refreshing couple of weeks I thoroughly enjoyed myself a couple of days in there I just slept all day <laughs> a couple of days was nothing but sleep so you know it's been um I enjoyed myself and then in addition to that 
there have been times where I sat down and made reflection here on this channel. So as far as 2022 is concerned, one of the things that I would like to do here for you guys um, that are members here on this channel is have a day once a month. Now, I already have a once a month one-on-one -on -one with captains. So not one-on-one, -on -one, but one-on-one -on -one with just the captains because the captains are a smaller group. So we meet together on Zoom and we do a craft together. But what I would like to do is do like a Q&A and maybe throw in a craft for members only once a month as well. So if you are a member here on this channel, not only do you request a bell, you know, not only do you get the cool emo emojis, but at least once a month we get together and live here on YouTube and then, you know, hang out, ask questions some stuff like that. All right. So that's one thing I do want to do here on this channel. And we're looking at normally I would say the first Sunday of every month. Um, but I think I'm going to squeeze it over to the second Sunday because this is the first Sunday of the month. So that, you know, I wouldn't be able to start it tonight because it's already here. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, if we do that, if it's going to be, uh, because we're already here on Sunday, that would be my reasoning for choosing a Sunday, but I also don't want to hold y'all hostage for two and a half, three hours, but we'll see how it goes. I'll request your feedback. And if we need to make some changes as we go, we definitely will. So let's get into the GIT challenge. Now I know that I did not get to, um, answer any questions as of yet. So I'm going to rewind here in a little bit and go back and check, um, any questions, but that's another change that's going to happen here on the channel is we are going to flip flop how we do things here on the channel. All right. So the way it's going to work is we will come in, we will address, you know, whatever it is that we're going to be discussing and question and answer and stuff. We'll get into the content first and then we'll take a break somewhere towards the middle and we'll say hi and do our greetings and whatnot. And then we'll revisit whatever the project was or maybe change the subject. It's entirely up to you guys, but we're trying to um, streamline the channel and make it where the meat of the information is where it needs to be. And then folks can tune in and we can go ahead and, and get into having some fun. So that's the plan. Um, and we'll see again, we'll see how it goes because that's the thing that I absolutely love about what we do as business owners and crafters. We create our own stories. We create our own storylines. And that was the reason for the GIT challenge. All right. So getting into the GIT challenge, um, you have to understand that the challenge, although it was me saying here, I'm challenging you. It was also you guys holding me accountable as well. So when the GIT challenge concept came about, my line of thinking was also you fixing what you want to fix about your business. All right. You doing what you need to do for your business. So one of the first things I suggested with the GIT challenge was to get a planner. And I did get a planner. I got a super cute little mini planner that would fit in my purse. Um, and I can actually use the thing now because it was starting, it, it started 2021, um, January. It didn't have, I'm sorry, 2022. It didn't have 2021 in there at all. Um, and I was going to make my own pages and put in there. Um, but I decided not to. So now we intend to start actually putting content in our 2021, 2022 planner. That's going to take some getting used to. That's going to take some getting used to saying 2022. Um, so most of you loud and proud showed off your planners. I appreciated that. Thank you so very much for letting me know you got your planner. Some people had more than one and that was awesome too. Uh, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is you have something, whether it's digital, whether it's physical, you have something that will allow you to keep account of your planning and the things that you're going to do with your business, because that's the thing we want to get it together and keep account of what's going on. If you're anything like me, like a flower child type personality, where you really just take each day as it comes and say, la vie type situation. So 
I'm going to have to really buckle down and this is going to be a challenge. So GIT challenge isn't just saying it, it's actually going to be a challenge for me because that's never really my, the way I've been. So that was the one thing. The second thing was getting a business email address. All right, so for those of you who have your business email address, throw a purple heart in the chat. If you're a member, throw a purple heart in the chat. If you are not a member, throw in a red heart, put in a heart in the chat if you did get your business email address. Because the reason for that was there is a function coming up here in Charlotte, the Charlotte area rather, um, September, where there is a free business seminar that's going to take place in Charlotte. And so in order to attend, you have to have a business email address. There is no getting around that. All right. And that was one of the qualifications that he mentioned. So if you did get your business email address, go ahead and drop that in the chat. If you did not and you're interested in getting your own business email address, it's very simple. You can go to Google and you can go Google business, Google Google business email. It's called Google something. Hold on. Let me look this up because I want to make sure that I tell you right. Google business email. Whoops. Can I spell? Can I, can I spell? Double work. Workspace. Go to workspace, uh, dot google.com. Okay. And at Google workspace, what you will essentially be doing in order to get your business email address, essentially you're buying the domain name. You're buying the domain name. So alternatively, you can do that too, but it's, I don't want to say easier, but if your main focus is not a website, it's just an email for right now, at least you're locking down that domain name to get your email address. And then later you can visit doing a website. So go to workspace.google.com and you can get a business email address. There are uh, monthly fees with it and there's a monthly fee for me as well. I do pay monthly for my business email, even though I started out by buying the domain name first on GoDaddy.com. But I had already had my business email, so I didn't need to create one. But this is one way you can create one without having to create a website. All right. So they have a business starter at six bucks a month to get started and you can get uh, your business email address. So that was the second plan with the uh, GIT challenge. The third plan with the GIT challenge was letting you guys know that in September, um, the Graphics Pro Expo is coming to Charlotte. All right. So the Graphics Pro Expo, let me switch you guys over to the... Um, where is it? There we go. Switch you guys over to the Graphics Pro Expo website. And here it is in Irving, Texas in March. But the one that I wanted to let you guys know about is here in Charlotte, September the 16th through the 17th. And the reason why I'm pointing out this one instead of these others, which may be closer to you, but this one is going to have the Start Here Academy coming up this year. And the Start Here Academy, again, is a free business academy um, that will help get you um, connected with other business, um, like wholesale accounts and things like that. They're supposed to uh, get you going with that. And I'm super excited about it. I'm trying to remember where the... Um, Start Here Academy website is. I'll have to look it up. But your registration is free. The Start Here Academy is free. The only thing that needed that was needed is that you get a business email address. All right. So that was the third. Let me make sure I'm saying that right. Yes, that was the third plan in place for the GIT challenge. All right. So let me jump into the chat and see if there's any questions. Avery Head, thank you so very much for the super chat. We appreciate it. Woo! Yes. Holler. <laughs> yes. Um, Avery Head says, nothing like empty nesters. I know, right? Yeah, it was, uh, it's been, it's been fun. Uh, 
youtube.com slash Mr. Ish. Okay, so let me switch you back over. Someone asked about joining the channel. All right, so this was the Google Workspace where we were. If you come to your browser and you type youtube.com slash the baby's booty charlotte so b-a-b-y-s b-o-o-t-y charlotte slash join then that will take you to our membership page and the membership will pop up and i don't want to hit myself but at any rate and here are you can click here on whichever membership it is that you so choose to join who group crew the mates or the captains and then you click join and that's how you can join on the channel uh or you can come to our main page and it should be right here this join button where normally it would say subscribe join button should be right there beside it all right so that's one of two ways and then this is the second way on getting in on our channel all right if you want to be a member here on the baby's booty <laughs> we appreciate it um so let me go back up and check because i have missed a lot of chat and i apologize i'm not normally behind like this but i definitely wanted to um get more into and i'm glad i scroll back up because i was about to lose some stuff okay so sunny webster the finger is healing it's peeling um y'all i just it, it's crazy I, I don't really want to show this right here but it's peeling and so i'm shedding skin on this thing and it's creeping me out but we're not going to touch that that's something different um, Miss Crafty Creations, hello, Kristen Jordan. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Welcome, Anita Edwards. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We appreciate it. Um, let's see, Texas is cold. We should be cold by tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. Leslie Ram, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. A limited production studio, hello. Um, let's see, teaser chick. I hope someone get those two videos edited we'll see that was a fun video phyllis dunbar hello welcome cj spicy hello how are you haven't seen your name before welcome tamika cole hello let's see we let me make sure i'm not missing any questions becky chisholm hello trying to work your new cricket maker becky chisholm you're the first bell ring for a new baby congratulations <laughs> yes cricket maker holler <laughs> oh yeah and uh not patrice t-shirt chick is holler because <laughs> you didn't i don't remember you saying holler either because you know i say that all the time too so next time we have a crafts and laughs we're gonna say holler we got to get that right a bell and holler we got to get that fixed um tamika cole got the cameo for for christmas Woo! new cameo for holler Yes, congratulations on the new Cameo 4. We're definitely still trying to get get on the bandwagon with the Cameo thing. I haven't touched it at all while I was off. I did not even touch it, so I need to do that. Um, Joanne Williams, hello. Leslie Ram says, got a new heat press. Woo! Oh, how big is your heat press? Leslie, let us know. We want to know sizes because size does matter. But congratulations! Woo! Yes! <laughs> congratulations! Y'all got me self self uh, self conscious about this bell. Um, let's see. Okay, there's the heat press. Hey, Miss Social Deb. Hello, welcome, my dear. Um, let us see, Miss Avery Head. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member, and welcome, Simone Langley. Welcome, and thank you as well for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Get old Scorpion, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I don't remember your name, so thank you for joining us this evening. Isla Lou Beth C's Couture. I'm, I'm going to miss the rest of it because I want to make sure I say everything correct. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. We appreciate you being here. Um, my dog's water sitting in the sun. Never thought we would be back to summer by the end. Of <laughs> wow, now that's cold when the dog's water bowl. Don't even thaw out. That's crazy. 
Um, Pamela Hawkins, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us live again. Welcome back. We appreciate it. Miss Debbie Kidd, hello, welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. I was talking about you uh, last week. Had you on my mind. I need to check in with you. Aisha Earth, hello, precious love, hello, welcome to the both of you. Boracua Sewing and Crafts, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us and for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you. Patrina Gosha, hello, River City Creations, hello, Paula from New Jersey. Hello, thank you for joining us, all of you. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. So, Amy, how often do you change the blade on your Cricut cutting flock? I don't change it at all. Simone, I, I think I might have changed my blade once. Maybe once. Mm -mm. I haven't had to change it um, in a long time, actually. So, no, I don't change it very often. But if you do see that it's not cutting as quickly or as cleanly, then yes. But what I normally do is I'll take out the blade. Matter of fact, let me see if I can't grab this blade. Well, I don't want to get too far from the microphone, so hold on. Uh, can I grab this blade without tearing stuff up? Y'all know, now I'm not going to grab the blade. But anyways, you know, it's in its housing. The blade is in the housing, right? So when you take the blade housing out of the Cricut I saw a tip on YouTube you get a aluminum foil ball and ball, you know crush up aluminum foil into a ball and then when you push the top of the blade in it exposes the blade um, push the button on the top of the blade housing it pushes the blade out and exposes the blade and just keep stabbing the foil ball with the blade like that and it sharpens it um, can I prove that? No, but I mean, I haven't had any issues out of my blade and I, I've been doing that um, and I don't do that very often either. What I do very often is I'll pull out the blade and press the button to expose it and make sure none of the orange flock or anything is gumming up in there. I'll clean that off and put it back in there. But that's the extent of really what I do with the blade on my um, Cricut. CJ Spicy, thank you for joining us. New, we appreciate that. Um, Patrice says we like the hot messness. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I it is what it is, people. I, I can't change who I am, I just I can't. Sheila Green, hello, welcome for finally catching a live. We appreciate you letting us know that. Thank you very, very much. Um, D Ashley, hello, welcome. I'm trying to scroll through and make sure. I don't see anything. I put a couple of posts in Facebook. I need advice on you responded to one, the other one you didn't. So I respect your advice, Allison. No worries. I haven't really been on social media very much either. That was something else that I kind of uh, backed up off of and kind of took a step back um, because I, I just I needed to see some things. I needed needed to make sure of my time and and so that's another part of my personal git challenge is scheduling out what i do and making it intentional not just by the seat of my pants and as the wind blows so on certain days there will be certain posts that are done intentionally um on instagram on tiktok and on facebook probably not as much on tiktok but we'll see how it goes um, and then beyond that, setting aside specific times of day where I actually respond and make sure that I'm covering stuff. And then if there's any additional time, like for instance, if I'm at the doctor's office and I'm in the waiting room or I'm in, you know, somewhere just chilling or whatever, and I have time, then go in and do some of the extra stuff, um, in between time, but I want set times where things are going to be done so that I know what's going on and I can say for certainty, yes, I post blah, 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 you know, for sake of business profile type stuff. So yes, um, I was not on Facebook very much over the last couple of weeks, but that's going to change as of tomorrow. So my vacation officially in, ended 42 minutes ago. <laughs> Alicia M., hello, welcome. Thank you for uh, joining us. Boracure, 
Um, the other channel is Minecraft Momsies. I think it's Minecraft. So I know y'all probably don't really, um, I think it's Minecraft Momsies. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me see. Because my kids got me into playing Minecraft. Yeah, it's Minecraft Momsies. M-A-M-Z-E-E-Z. -E -E but I got into playing Minecraft with them two years ago now. Three, two, three, two, two years ago. And I absolutely love Minecraft. It's That's another thing that I've, I've spent time doing is enjoying the game with them because they had some new updates to the game. So I've been doing that. And just enjoying myself, y'all. I just I hadn't had personal time in a while. So I'm excited to embark on something new and see how it goes and have some fun with that. As if I have time for a whole nother channel. I really don't. But I play anyway. So while I'm playing, I figure I just stream. So that's pretty much how that goes. Um, so crafty, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member. I appreciate that. Welcome um let me see forever blessed hello welcome thank you for joining us let me see if we have any other questions merlinda lacy did i say thank you for being a youtube hoop group member i don't know but i'm saying it now uh to you and to susan Kearns. thank you both um oh that did work okay so unplugging it got rid of it okay i apologize y'all so far it hadn't died either so i'm happy about that i don't know why i was tripping earlier but hopefully we like when you say yes a lot <laughs> I love saying yas. That's what's up. Yas. Yas. Okay. Hey, Jesse Gibson. How are you? Welcome, my dear. Thank you. Uh, remodeling can be fun. Mm. It can be, but the problem with the remodeling is um, there's been some differences of opinion on some things and what to do. I is, yeah, so it's been interesting. We'll see how that goes. I like resin, except I'm allergic. I get a good rash. Oh, no. Uh, Harmony, that's horrible. Um, Lord, I can keep up, y'all, in everything Kristen says. I know, right, Kristen, is if I needed to do anything else. But it's been fun. Harmony, honey, I'm sorry. Woo, I would be real sad if I was allergic to this. And I even blinged out something today, y'all. Look, I, I tried to put bling on it. It looks terrible because I was rushing it and playing with... um what's that uh what do they call this powder it's my mica mica powder what's the name of this stuff i can't think of the name of it but it's it's a powder and i got it in all colors like here's teal which is absolutely beautiful and it's um pearlescent it's like a a pearl type here's white Y'all, uh, matter of fact, let's do it this way because it's no, I, it'll take me forever to go through these. So I have all of these colors. This one is rose, violet, silver, uh, green, dark green, and a gold. And I have another purple here. And then I have oh, amethyst. And this one is bronze. So I um, was using these for the first time today and uh to color the resin so learning how to do that has been absolutely i i love resin um i bought a kit y'all look look how many molds i have here's I, I have so many molds now i just i've lost my mind buying molds i have molds for days um i even have more molds over here I made a little ball. I don't even know where it is now. I've just been playing with I just it's I'm obsessed now. I have here's the mold for the buttons. I got this one from Michaels though. All the rest I got off of Amazon. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more uh, from somewhere. Here's some more molds. Um the only mold I don't have yet that I want is I saw a guitar pick mold. I want that one. Not that I play guitar, but, you know, whatever. I bought the dice mold, but I got rid of most of them because I didn't want most of them. I just wanted the, um, because we love Scattergories, so I got the Scattergories one, but I doubt I'll ever make it. And then, like I said, the regular dice one right here. 
the regular dice one and it did not work well for me and then this one just has numbers on it i figured maybe that would come in handy with the grandkids i got more molds so i have molds for days so one of these soon i'm hoping to be able to do resin with you guys as well so i'm hoping to do that soon um but for right now i'm just playing with it and trying to learn how to because i'm so impatient and i'm wanting to do this and like do it now type situation so i don't have all of the tools that i feel like i need so i'm gonna get some more like i got these from dollar tree these little cups and then i'm using um these sponge things that i clean out my printer with and i'm using the back end of it to stir but they have stir sticks that you can get um they have silicone cups or cup better cups for the resin um i need the hardware for the resin thingies like here's the keychain things with the chain on them um so that i can like this one with the chain so i need to get those i ended up having to get more of these jump rings and these still aren't big enough i bought these so i gotta order some bigger ones off of amazon or wherever um i even have the dye the pigment for the i've been had this though this is old because this is from back when i was going to do resin the first time and decided not to so this resin works with um the uv resin and i've been using some of my nail polish with some of the crafts that i've been doing so like uh, my gel polish works really well um that's how i was making the buttons actually uh, most of these buttons are the um, gel nail polish in there so uh, but at any rate so saying all of that to say the resin is has been a lot of fun so i'm super excited to hopefully be able to do some um projects with you guys how do i watch from facebook live under the hoop group um i actually so on on facebook there are times i'll go live on facebook not super often but on facebook it'll pop up and say that i'm live and i actually need to schedule that too and start doing live on what's the face arlene wade hey dear how are you welcome thank you for joining us i appreciate you being here pamela bradley white hello love welcome thank you for joining us um let's see make sure because i am way way far behind um uh, cute i watched that video a few times preparing myself to do some i've had molds for a while but hesitant because of the resin going forward in 2022 and the smell isn't as bad i from what i understand it's not as bad as it would be for um the two-part resin is louder in smell from what i've been told the only time this resin kind of gets to me is when i get it on my hands i can really smell it but usually like with working with it the smell doesn't hit me like that so you know a lot of that depends on um how you handle the resin mary brown welcome to the hoop group thank you very much for joining the hoop group yes yes <laughs> shay harris thank you very much she says i want to remind everyone to make sure you're using protective gear which i don't and should so yes definitely um, make sure that you are protected am i that far behind i am that far behind hold on all right so let me speed read um see cynthia's there are three different member prices so i tried to make like the the least expensive one is 5.99 so um it would be affordable hopefully jesse they are coming on the fifth and the sixth to train me on my embroidery machine holler you did get it right did i ring the bell for you jesse let me know because i want to make sure i ring the bell for you i just knew i was going to be ringing the bell non-stop tonight y'all this is crazy but shirley dabney got the cricket heat press Ooh, yes. <laughs> holler hey uni how are you welcome thank you for joining us girl i talked to you earlier today and i crashed i didn't realize i was so sleepy so i knocked all the way out after i talked to you earlier today oh y'all and we're gonna be doing some sewing on this channel too so keep on the lookout for that we will start doing some sewing projects too 
um mikhail kirkland hello welcome thank you for joining us um let's see let's see let's see so let's see let's see scrolling scrolling always watching never commenting well thank you for commenting finally we appreciate you we like to hear from everybody beverly moore hello style couture hello phyllis dunbar hello Rhonda jones hello welcome marquita card domains domain name is um like www.marquitacar.com marquitacar.com would be a domain name um so if that's the name of your business then you can go to workspace.google.com uh, and you can if you don't want to build a website you can at least get the domain name through google workspace by securing that as your email address so then what that will afford you to do is say info at marquitacar.com um, is your actual email address instead of marquitacar at gmail.com. So the whole point in getting a business email address is what it kind of does is makes you official official. You know what I'm saying? Because when you can prove, and I, I don't want to say this and, uh, and be offensive. I definitely don't want to say this and be offensive because I know firsthand um, that starting up is tough when you're starting a business, you know, it takes money to make money. And if you don't have money like that, then, you know, it can be intimidating when, you know, everybody else has my business.com as a website and I don't have one, but I'm doing business. I'm making money. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I don't want to be offensive, but it does make you official because it's showing that you're willing to invest in your business to make it an official business right so yes there are other things that go with that you really should be having um, some form of business license if you're selling things a resale certificate so that you can purchase your materials wholesale tax-free and pass the taxes on to your customers that you know there's a whole lot of other stuff that I'm not um, qualified really to advise anybody on because each state is different. That's the biggest reason why I would be hesitant to go too much into detail on things that you should do um, to get your business up off the ground. But a domain name is super simple. There's not much to it. No matter where you are in the world, you can get a domain name. And now they have .com, .info, .store, .net, .org. Dot, I mean, you know what I'm saying? They got .everything now because we were running out of domain names. So even if you already have a domain name, for instance, you may already have marquitacar.com, well, you might want to go out there and get marquitacar.tv if you plan on at some point in time going live and having a TV show, or you may want to snag marquitacar.store. You know, if you plan on opening a store at some point in time, you don't have to, but those options are available to you now. It's more than just dot com. Of course, dot com is the premier um, because that's what everybody is going to refer to initially is what you got a website. Yes, yeah, ebari at gmail dot com. You know what I'm saying? But that's not it that, you know, you need to have an actual website, ebari, you know, dot com. And then that's what people are originally going to start thinking instead of like Gmail. So Gmail is free. So that's why it's technically not an official business email address to some businesses, some of the larger businesses. You know what I'm saying? So there, there's a, put it this way. If you have Marquita Car uh, or admin at marquitacar.com, it kind of puts you in the big boy leagues. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? It's not that you don't have a business. It's not that you're not a, an official business, but it kind of puts you in, in a in a big boy league and, and like an exclusive, you know, oh, I'm, I have a business, I have a domain name, you know, and you can go and say, yes, my business is, you know, Marquita Car or ad, you can contact me admin at marquitacar.com or owner at marquitacar.com or CEO at marquitacar.com. You see what I'm saying? So there's like, you can take things up a notch. And the cooler thing too is you can actually create more than one email address at Google 
I'm sorry, workspace.google.com. I didn't go into this aspect of it, but you can actually buy more than one domain. I mean, more than one email. So if you're, and I don't want to keep harping on Marquita Card. So let's go to thebabiesbooty.com. I already have that. And my email address um, is, okay, so I can do admin at thebabiesbooty.com. You know what I'm saying? And if it's somebody that's wanting to contact me for purchasing embroidery stuff wholesale, they're a business um, and they want to buy my supplies or my embroidery services or whatever, they can contact me at sales at thebabiesbooty.com. You see what I'm saying? So you can have different email addresses for the same domain name is what I'm trying to get at. So there's sales at thebabiesbooty.com. There's um help at the baby's booty.com i can't figure it out on the website well help at the baby's booty even though these are not real email addresses i'm just using them i could create these email addresses and pay for more than one email address and make the company look a little bit bigger than what it really is you know what i'm saying because you can say oh you need sales then contact us here if you need you know um to reach the ceo is ceo at the baby's booty.com you see what i'm saying so that's the the cool thing about having a business email address you can it gives you room to grow it gives you room to grow and it gives you room to be like i said the big boy status club okay so please don't take it the wrong way if you don't have a business email address um it's it's something to plan for it's something to grow to if you so choose to do so you don't have to do it but if you're going to attend the Star Hair Academy, which is free here in Charlotte, you do have to have one. So that, that's something to keep in mind. The Academy is free, but you really have to um, Diane Day. I hope you feel better. Sorry, I just read her message about her planner. Um, but you do have to have one to join the uh, Star Hair Academy. I apologize. That's not superficial layers of skin that didn't regenerate. Oh, well, it's creepy. I just need you to know that she's cushion berry. <laughs> Teresa Spencer. Hey, sugar. How are you? Uh, Shayna. Hello. Ursula Moore from Atlanta. Hello. Um, hey there. I'm playing with my new brother, SE800 tonight. What's the TMR? Congratulations on your new baby. Woo! And you got the five by seven baby too. Congratulations, holla, yas! That uh, SE800 is a good machine that's sewing and embroidery. So that's what's up. Made by Q. Hey, sugar, how you been? She got a Bernadette 70 embroidery six by ten. Congratulations, yas, yas! Congratulations, and Leslie Ram out here with the big boy the 20 by 20 congratulations on that 20 by 20 girl i was wondering what size it was that's nice we like 20 by 20 i wanted the 16 by 20 you got me on that um dorica christman i just got the janome 400e embroidery machine yes holler <laughs> dorica congratulations and d ashley got a pink mug press y'all not just not just any mug press. Not any. Not just any mug press. She got her a pink mug press. So congratulations to you, Miss D. Ashley, on your new pink mug press. Woo! Yes. Congratulations. And then Rhonda Jones got the Sawgrass 3500. Yes. Holler, holler. Congratulations. <laughs> These are good babies. That sawgrass is nice. Y'all, I think I killed my sublimation printer. So we're going to have to have a moment of silence a little bit later for my printer. Well, no, we're not going to have that yet. I got to make sure it's dead, dead. Then once I make sure it's dead, dead, then we'll have some silence. But it's going to be a minute. So we'll save that for the next show. Uh, Anita Satterfield, hello. How are you? Shayna got a new multi-needle. What would you get, darling, so we can ring the bell for what you got? We want to know um mary cobb a baby cameo portrait sweet holler yes congratulations 
that's what's up and then creations by k-aisha got the seven and one mug press that's what's up congratulations Woo! yes <laughs> beverly moore welcome to your first time in the chat we appreciate it diane myers we ain't trying to hear about no negative foe i just need you but you're in denver so that makes sense right or wait a minute i said denver i apologize Colorado. Usually when I hear Colorado, of course, I think Denver and skiing. So it would make sense to be cool up there. Uh, Texas Finest. Hey, Texas Finest. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Yas. Um, let's see. I just received my new sawgrass sublimation printer. Arlene says, congratulations. Woo! Yas. You're in, um, aren't you in, Arlene, where are you? Aren't you in the islands? If I'm remembering correctly, I might be remembering incorrectly. Craftable Thing says the aluminum foil ball works wonders. That's how far behind I am, y'all. I'm sorry. Yes, I heard it was. So Texas Finest, I started doing sublimation earrings. Holler. That's what's up. I need to um, get back into sublimation. As a matter of fact, we got some um, new sublimation paper in from a sub they contacted us and wanted to offer you guys a deal on their sublimation paper so i de definitely need to drop that link in the description um but we have a video coming next week for their paper and doing a sublimation product project so at some point in time a heifer gonna have to get a sublimation printer from somewhere so either i'm gonna have to pull that print head out again and try and get it primed and see if that's what's wrong if that's not what's wrong then i'm gonna have to get a printer um let's see d ashley in denver holler checking in from arkansas hey shonda coleman welcome i got the dime stitch ripper eraser for christmas hope i won't have to use it but i'm sure i will girl that stitch racer congratulations where is mine? I have one similar, but anyway, congratulations! Woo! Woo! Sorry, I need to, where's my ink? I need my big boy ink, because apparently my, my wrist is weak from the last two weeks of not, not flexing on my wrist. Um, brush, Diane Myers says, I have a 2720 Epson Sublimation 28 inch US Cutter Cameo 3 Caesar Heat Press and a Swing Away Press. Texas Finest out here doing the thing. You hear me? Is any of that new? Do I need to ring the bell? Please let me know and clarify because I want to make sure that I'm understanding you correctly. Um, Joanna Holmes got a new baby. She got a Cricut Maker and an upgrade to her baby lock spirit embroidery machine. Woo! Yes. Congratulations. New babies in the house um yuri valent welcome i'm glad you found this live too thank you for joining us thank you for joining us um lee let me make sure i'm saying your name correctly is it Ela or leela no that's Ela. elia make sure i'm saying it right i'm sorry i don't want to say it wrong she says i'm packing sublimation blanks that's what's up you're packing them and shipping them let us know if you have a store um, I use the CB09 blade and it has a much better and cleaner cut. Ms. Bickham said, is that in your Cricut? Allison Holloway, should I repost the post so it doesn't get lost? I really need your advice on this one thing. Just um, tag me in it. That's all you need to do. Um, Lily Pedraza, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I hope I pronounced that correctly. May okay, I rang the bell for um, May by Q. Thank you. Mica powder. Thank you, CJ Spicy. It's mica powder. I could not remember. That. You know what? I'm a boo-boo head because I got a container. Oh, it's not right here in front of me. That's why I wouldn't have read it and seen what it was. I got a container of mica powder for eyeshadow, and I was told you can use that and tint your resin with the mica powder eyeshadow as well. Y'all, I'm out here with the learning stuff and, and having fun. I don't know where that mica powder is. It's around here somewhere. I got a little little pot of it that I bought from um, a store in the mall that was trying to make... Uh-oh, y'all. I hope I don't lose sound because the power button is blinking on this thing. So, actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to bring the buzzing back for a minute. I apologize in advance. 
did the buzzing come back? I'm going to try and hopefully it, it won't come back too much. Um, Jesse says, like those colors. Monica, do you have a video on how to work social media to advertise our work? I do not. That's something I do need to um, get into. D. Ashley, eyeshadow from Dollar Tree to color my resin. Shut up, D. Ashley. I am going to have to try that. Can you post a link for the resin vendor? Barbara Bonaparte. Why well, I didn't think of that. I sure will. Tampa BBQ Queens, we got the glow in the dark and the best uni resin, my baby. And I have so much to all because of that UV resin. Are you saying glow in the dark color or powder? Or is the UV itself um, glow in the dark? Let me know. And the other thing you need to know with the UV resin, your 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 molds have to be clear so you can't use color molds they have to be clear so that the light can get through it so just keep that in mind as well i need to grab that link uni actually are you a um moderator in here i can't remember if you are will you post post the link if any of the moderators in here are here will you post the link for me uh, but i'm thinking uni is a moderator i'm not sure Wendy G, I love resin. I'm selling at the home show in our country resin keychains and jewelry. I'm excited and scared at the same time. Girl, you got this. You got this. I'm trying to tell you, you got this. If you have a heat gun, you can pop the bubbles. I tr so, Andrea T, when I pulled out this little raggedy heat gun thingy that I bought from off of Amazon, it looks like a little teeny um heat gun thing kind of puts me in the mind of an adult toy in a way but i'm gonna leave that alone um this blows too hard and it was blowing my resin and this it was on like the low setting so i don't i i didn't i didn't like it and the cord on this is so super short as well so it wasn't allowing me to come up here to do you know so i just i don't like the heat gun um, but I was told to use a lighter and the lighter worked very well. So I love the lighter. That's what I've been using. Any other, any other tips, please let me know because bubbles are the bane of my existence with resin. Resin is so fun. I've been playing around with it. Do we with shrink plastic? Haven't done shrink plastic. You mean like the shrinky dinks from back in the day? Ella Nicole, L Nicole. Dollar Tree has a really nice silicone cup and stir. What? Shay Harris, come through. You know I'm a Dollar Tree fiend. I'm going to have to go to Dollar Tree. Um, let's see. I hate UV resin, somebody said. I hate UV resin. That, that made my heart hurt. Let me get back. I hate UV resin on the other hand. Oh, no, Shay Harris. I'm sorry. Wendy G been using a lighter and also warm water. How do you do the warm water? Now I I did read to put the bottle in warm water before you use it. I've been doing that, but I haven't seen that to pop bubbles. So playing with Bella, my new brother PEA hundred. So excited, made some backpacks for my grands. Please post those in the hoop group if you don't mind, please. I'm pretty sure we rang the bell for you pretty sure we rang the bell let me know if i did not remain ring the bell for you yeah we chilling tonight i was gonna do yes you did ring bell okay cool cat bernadette 70 i did ring the bell for you miss cat i'm pretty sure i did beth waiting for my second brother nq 1600e to come can't wait business is definitely going to get better in 2022 yes it is it definitely is and I'm excited for you, Beth, because when you got two of them babies running, it is an amazing sound. I absolutely love it. Um, resin is so awesome. I can't stop using it. Get the coasters molds. You got the Hoop Master Mighty Kit to craft the Puerto Rican. Ma'am, that Hoop Master Kit is 
awesome absolutely love the hoop master kit it is the best thing to get when you especially if you have the multi-needle machine congratulations on your hoop master kit Ooh, that's an investment so yas holler holler <laughs> congratulations i made a six cup turner for my resin tumblers and cups oh that's what's up you made it yourself how did that work wix will give you an email when you do your e-commerce site through them and jane that's who my business email is through because i bought the domain name uh, but mine isn't free and my commerce is through them so i don't know how what i did wrong but mine ain't free i pay every month for it i mean not every month i pay annually for my email through no actually i got it through um GoDaddy, who is just who i bought my domain name from but I do have commerce through Wix and they never offered an email. So maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Um, please use wear a mask when using resin. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been because I didn't smell anything. So I haven't been using it. No, I didn't know you could have more than one email. Yes, I pay for the lower tier. I just need to quit procrastinating and make something. No rush. The thing is you have plenty of time and that's available if you so choose to take advantage of it it's not absolutely necessary but it is really cool you know what i'm saying because you can just be like oh you can contact my secretary at at you know assistance at marquitacard.com you know what i'm saying or you can contact the production manager at production at marquitacard.com and all them people is you you know what i'm saying they don't know that they just know you have a different email for different departments and so it's actually really cool i absolutely love the thing with um having other email addresses um made by q make sure i rang the bell for you because i i'm sorry that i kept missing it just realized that charlotte is a two and a quarter hour drive two and a 2.4 hour drive from where my daughter lives in nc sure let me know now let's let's give germs a time to settle down we need some snow that's what we need the whole country just needs some snow to clean all these germs out there two good snows and that'll help get rid of some of these germs <laughs> i just got a pocket hoop for my embroidery machine dtc queen that's cool i'm not sure what a pocket hoop is please um post a picture of that and make sure i'm understanding correctly Precious Love got a Joy and an Epson 4800. Congratulations. Oh, yes. Yes. Two babies. That's what's up. That Cricket Joy is fun. I absolutely love the little teeny Joy. It is the bee's knees. Shayna got the Ricoma TC1501. Not 15 needles, Shayna. Not 15 needles. Congratulations, girl. What? Yes. Holler. Holler. <laughs> congratulations d ashley says oh yes i need more paper drop that link i sure will i sure will yeah i love a sub i've always used a sub that's all i've ever used really um so actually that's all i've ever used is a sub so um i if it ain't broke don't fix it so that's what i've been using and i will drop a link up the link because the discount is something like 10 percent or something like that that they're giving off of it and i didn't realize asub had a whole website y'all they have other stuff too um so i'll definitely um uh, put that down is it on the shelf to your right no it was right here on the desk the mica powder that i had it's a little teeny pot um and i'm sure it's sitting looking at me somewhere down here because that's usually how it happens in plain sight and i just don't see it because you know that's what happens when you get old um your whole vision kind of like blocks out stuff some reason or whatever i don't know it's crazy i bought my domain name from GoDaddy. she says yes yes we like GoDaddy. i have so many domain names y'all it's pathetic because i've always been a business person the buzz buzzing is back okay let's unplug it again all right sorry hopefully it'll um glow in the dark mica powder oh cool 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 okay 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 i have to check that out cb09 in the cricket and the 45 degree blade for the rolling in my cameo oh that's what's up well, I mean, what about the 
in the cricket. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm packing to ship tomorrow. Okay, cool. Let us know what your um store is, Elia. You're going to have so much fun. I make so much money on resin items. Really? I haven't. Like I need it. I'm doing it for fun, actually, more so than anything. Now you making me want to do some shrinky. Okay, how I didn't even know shrinky dinks was still a thing. So it's still a thing. That's cool. Precious Love says use a small torch. A small torch? Y'all gonna have to look. I don't, I'm new to the resin. So let me know some cool stuff. Um, what we can do. Place resin in a silicone cup and microwave water for about one and a half minutes. Okay. I haven't done shrinky dinks in ages. Might have to get it out and do something with the grants. I need to do, look. I didn't know we could do shrinky dinks. Still, that's crazy. So we're gonna have to fool with that. Um, what's a good supplier for molds, Miss Bickham? I've been going to Amazon. I, I kid you not. Now there are some things that I wish I could make my own molds. Okay, so if I if y'all know of somebody who makes molds, let me know because there's some things that I want made a mold into out of or whatever you call it um but let me know if you know somebody because that's what i want if i don't figure out how to make it myself um hey 755 welcome and thank you very much for being a youtube hoop group member i appreciate it um do i get half a bell ringing for my dual tumbler turner of course you do congratulations for your dual Tumblr Turner. Did you make yours yourself too? Let me know. Woo! Yes. Holler. Congratulations on your cup turner. I didn't know you was going to do cups. Um, I like to make shapes or draw on it and shrink it. Then I mix color and glitter and glow in the dark powder in the UV resin, resin and make keychains and pins. L. Nicole, that's pretty darn cool. Please, if you have a moment, post a picture of your um, keychains and pins in the Facebook group. If you're not a part of it, let me know. If you, wait a minute, I said that wrong. If you are a part of the Facebook group, please post pictures. If you are not, email me the pictures. The baby's booty at Gmail. I would love to see that. The baby's booty at Gmail is my public email address. I, I didn't get rid of it. I kept it, even though I did get a business email. And the business email is for, um, like, what do you call them? opportunities from businesses that want to advertise here on our channel and stuff like that um let's see d ashley put your resin in a silicone cup and put hot water in a separate cup and put your resin cup on top the bubbles will pop also you can use a straw and blow the bubble now see d ashley now that's information i needed to know okay so the little blow thingy was too hard but a straw I can see how that would work better. So, yes, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> 755 says ring the Reese's. <laughs> Is the Magic Hooper worth it? Magic Hooper, you, if you're talking about the Mighty Mighty Hoop Station, yes. Yes. It is worth every penny. Every penny. Now, that's one thing I, I don't... We talk about stuff on this channel that I use. And... If I'm telling you it's good, I'm telling you it's good for a reason. That mighty hooping station, every penny is worth every penny. That thing is expensive. It is worth every penny, especially if you have multi-needle machines. Worth every penny. Especially if you're using their, their magnetic, the mighty hoops, it's worth it. I swear it is. That is the best thing going for especially when i do um uh like large orders of the exact same thing over and over and over and over man that thing saves so much time it don't make no kind of sense i swear it don't dorica say it's snowing in nashville girl send some of that snow this way so we can knock some of these germs out there uh style couture that's me i'm the business i'm every employee so i have all those emails yes karen caldwell hello and thank you for being a youtube Hoop group member. I am glad you are here. Thank you. Laverne Miller. Hello. A Kentucky accent. A Kentucky accent. I love it. <laughs> Welcome. Got a Topaz 50 in November, but it's not the most user-friendly. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. 
Um, first of all, I don't remember ringing a bell for the Topaz 50 in November because I don't remember ever seeing your name. So let's ring the bell for you, even though it's an older baby. Congratulations. Woo! Yes, yes. Congratulations. Secondly, what is it that's giving you the fit? Is it the hooping? Is it stitching stuff out? Is it getting designs to the machine? Let me know specifically what you're having issues with. Um, because for a lack of better wording, all embroidery machines are the same. They all operate on the same basic function. You hoop something, you put it on it, and it moves an arm and stitches stuff out. That's every embroidery machine. It's just different embroidery machines use different formats. Some machines have more needles than others. I mean, there's, you know, some do bigger sizes than others. You know what I'm saying? Some are smaller than others. So, but the basics are all pretty much the same. So let me know what you're having issues with, my dear, so we can try and help you out, okay? Shayna Krauts, Yaz. We are somewhat affiliates here too. Not quite, but somewhat. But yes, you definitely can check her out and get free shipping from her link as well it is as long as somebody gets kicked back i don't care um i just saw something where was it okay there we go my town is supposed to get eight to 12 inches in fredericksburg Ooh, michelle i'm telling y'all send that down this way um just seems right linda woods brown hello my dear welcome and thank you for being a youtube hoop group member i don't think i greeted you earlier Snowbageddon in Texas didn't kill it then. Nothing will. That's a good point. Hey, Andrea Ross. Welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. I also have adult size sublimation blanks in stock, not see-through and feel like cotton. I, did you drop a store? Did you let me email me your store, please? Because, I mean, we we don't discriminate with sublimation blanks around here. We get them from some of everywhere. So normally I promote dietrans.com. Um, I've also gotten blanks from heat trans. Well, yeah, well, I haven't gotten blanks, but heat transfer warehouse has blanks and we're an affiliate for them. Um, so yeah, I just purchased a new pair of Cricut scissors. I didn't know they had scissors. Congratulations, 755 media on your new scissors. <laughs> Scissors is important too, y'all. You know I love some scissors around here. I got a whole slew full of scissors right now. These are my favorite, favorite pair because they're super heavy and they swanky looking and they, they all black and they cut super sharp. I absolutely love these scissors. So they stay right here where no one can touch them. Um, I just saw something. A Wagner heat gun. Is it a little teeny heat gun like that one? Or is it a big heat gun? Because I do have a bigger heat gun right here as well. But I can't see using this big old darn heat gun on a little bitty resin thing. I can't even get the thing out the drawer because I got fabric on top of it. What is this? Is this Wagner? No, I don't have Wagner. I have Warrior. So I got this big old thing, and it has a low and a high level. I don't know. Is that what you were talking about, Averhead? That kind of gun, heat gun? They have mold-making kits on Amazon. Dorica, is it clear? Simone Langley asked, what is a shrinky dink? We're going to have to look that up because I need to know how to get it again. I haven't had a shrinky dink in forever. Um, but sadly, Boulder got bad winds and burned an entire town down and then snow came the next day. What in the world? How do you burn down a whole town? That don't even make sense. I drove up there today. Very sad. Pray for Boulder County. Nine, nine, 991 homes and structures lost. That's about like over in California. Colorado? Are you kidding? That's crazy. Do you think 8x8 is a good embroidery size? I'll be embroidering on crew next. Sure. A lot of it, rain, uh, a lot of it depends on what you're embroidering. Um, eight by eight is a large size. It's really good. It's very flexible. You can get a lot of projects done with that size. So, y'all, I thought I was going to have to fight somebody. Well, hey. Are you alive? I am. Y'all want to meet my son? Oh, this hello. is my son. <laughs> her face, 
her face when she noticed I was coming through the door. Yeah, because I wasn't expecting yeah. company tonight. So, yeah. But that's my son. Um, ooh, I'm glad he here. I can put the boy to work. Yes. But anyways, so, um, yes, 8x8 eight eight is a great size. So, definitely check that out. Wish has great molds for cheap if you're willing to wait. Girl, Wish, by the time my molds get here from Wish, no, I'm just kidding. Wish is nice. Wish is nice. Um, You can make your own molds with silicone. I don't know how to do that, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Sweet Arts Custom Creations. Hey, Sugar, how are you? Welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Um, Glue, paper, scissors. You can make your own molds super easy. Y'all, I'm going to have to find some stuff. Um on that very sad so many lost their home smoke was so thick even this far three hours east that is crazy i'm gonna have to look that up you just i know one lady in one of um another facebook uh embroidery facebook group i'm in she was posting that she was seeing everybody putting all their crafts and stuff and she posted a picture of her house and it was burnt and i was like oh my gosh that is horrible especially this time of year it's cold outside and it's just uh it's just crazy moderator please post the facebook group i'm at the okay i don't think there is a moderator so let me do this i'm gonna catch up y'all okay so facebook group let me pull it up while we're doing this because i'm behind and i'm usually not this far behind in the thing usually um so here is the group right y'all Here's the group right y'all and the group is the baby's booty so let's go here here is the um link for that and then what else was i supposed to link i was supposed to link the a sub discount were you just here briefly mm -hmm. i don't like you because i was gonna put you to work okay uh we just got back from Atlanta? Yep. Did you get any Not that I can think of. If it was, it was bills. This boy don't went to Atlanta. Um, but if I find something, I'll let you know. Are you looking for something in particular? Uh, oh, here? Yeah. Uh, did you ask him about mail? Okay, well, I'll let you know if I find it. Love you too. Even though you leaving me. Don't. Um, let's see. Here is the where's the link? The link is this. Oh, it's not ten percent, it's twelve percent. I was wrong. Okay. So the link is twelve percent off. Code is hoop group. So where is there it is hoop group all right so here is the a sub link let me type this a sub sublimation paper link all right and use discount code hoop group all one word all right so there's that now, what else do I need to post? It was something else. Posted the short of the glow in the dark UV resin pieces. Okay, cool. Pop got the turner for you last week. Tell Pop he's awesome. Um, there is a compound you can buy to make your own molds, but Liz at Craft Kitsune makes her own and sells resin kits. Okay. Sandy the PJ Mommy. Good evening. I love your name. Thank you for joining us. I don't remember you being here with us, so thank you. I appreciate you joining us. I watched several videos on making your own molds, but just never tried it when I started rhinestones. Okay. Um. Side of that. I can't wait to use the Hoop Master Kit. Girl, the Hoop Master Kit is earthing. I just received the 5x7 magnetic breakaway embroidery hoop for my Stellar, but I have a problem. My machine doesn't recognize the hoop. What? Um, Stellar. At, contact the 
Okay, magnetic breakaway embroidery hoop. Who manufactured it, Andrea? Because they may have something like, for instance, um, the, oh my gosh, what is the name of that? Um, Y'all, I swear, the memory thing sucks. The hat thing that goes with the embroidery machine to make hats easier to do. Um, I can't think of the name of it. 700 bucks for the set. Um, and they have other hoops too, clamps type hoops. But anyway, those people, the hat hoop thingy that they have, to the cap driver or the cap frame that they have, it's not recognized um am i thinking the right thing yeah it's not recognized something they have isn't recognized by the brother um six needle embroidery machine so they have a special clamp that they that they'll sell to you or you know if you let them know you have the brother they'll have it with your thing to help it recognize the hoop so check with whoever makes the hoop and see if they have something to allow the brother to be able to recognize it because they have to I'm sure they're aware of that. Um, so definitely check that out and see if that's the case. Um, EJ, I set up a social media planner. I found a planner. Yes, there are social media planners that you can print and put in your thing or just make one. Pamela Bradley White got back from Vegas and is exhausted. Must be nice. Hello, son. The baby's booty he is. Oh, child. Don't miss Leslie Ram. Don't mean we can't say all of that. He don't need to know him handsome. Because I had to bust him in his head. So, um, I've been writing in my planner today. Okay, EJ's daughter has been writing in her planner today. Has anyone else been writing in their planner? What is the brand of the scissor you like? I got these off of Amazon, so I'll post the link to that too. Um, let's see, because I don't know what the brand is. You know how stuff on Amazon don't really have like a brand brand, but they put me in the mind of those um, super, super expensive scissors that be posted on um, Facebook ads. S-C-I-S-S-O-R-S. -S Here it is. It's called, don't know that brand name. There, there is no way to pronounce it. Professional dress making eight inch scissors. So I will link this. And it came with these super cute ones too. I forgot they came with these. I love these. I think they're adorbs. Aren't they cute? These jokers right here are sharp. You hear me? These are some super, super sharp uh, detail scissors. I love these. And they're, they're heavy as well. Like, see, I have another pair of scissors over there that I've been meaning to throw away because they flop around you know what i'm saying like these are like sturdy scissors like they don't feel like they're gonna break they don't feel like they're gonna come apart or anything anytime soon i'm a scissors fiend like i i <sighs> one of many things that i collect unfortunately scissors is one i'm obsessed with scissors so if I find a good pair of scissors, I will, like, for instance, um, my, my jump stitch scissors my, that I cut my jump stitches with, which I know I have a pair over there, but I don't have them right here by me. Those scissors, I buy in bulk. They're like 12 bucks a piece, and I buy them more than one. Like, I have a drawer full over there, brand new in the pack, because... What happens is either they get dull over time or my crazy self will be working on a project, drop them, they bend, and they no longer cut as well as they did before. So I just go grab another pair and keep going. But I keep my scissors because I absolutely love them. But I just posted the link to, oh, I didn't say what it was. Hold on, dress making scissors. Okay, sorry, I didn't put what it was. Um, six cup turner is made with one by six wood, extension cords, PVC pipe, and electric. I'll show you. Well, congratulations on you making your own cup turner. Woo! Yes. Congratulations. 
one of our girls uses certain clear plastic from packages for shrinky dinks with her kids because they do so much they do experiments and crafts all the time i need to know about all of this i ain't done shrinky dinks in forever the topaz 50 has a sensor to make sure you are using the correct hoop it is so sensitive that it has to be recalibrated after only six weeks of use will not recognize any of my hoops oh my gosh that sounds like a bad sensor it really does so um mm, and i hate saying that because from what i understand with the topaz uh viking husqvarna machines you have to send them back like you can't i'm trying to think of you 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 they have to be serviced by an official service person so that, that kind of sucks have you uh did a youtube or google search to see if anyone else has, has that problem um and what they might have done to remedy that themselves you may want to do that because that's something else i tend to do if i'm having issues with something i'll google it in a hot minute just to see if anybody else is having the same problem um and that way it at least helps you realize you're not alone even though that can suck to a certain degree but they also may have a solution that you might not have thought of so definitely check that out uh, recently brought a brother nq 1700e it's been in the box for over a month i've been too busy working on sublimation i'm thinking about returning it no! what should you make more money off of sublimation or embroidery charming k congratulations on your um even though you talking about leaving it in the box and get rid of it 1700e yes congratulations because <laughs> i don't remember ringing a bell for you charming k but um what i am going to say charming k is embroidery will open up a whole new avenue of revenue for your business it really will um because there's a lot of you will find that there's a lot of folks business owners especially that would appreciate embroidery um left chest logos on polos um a lot of times hats even though the nq 1700e is not really officially to be used with hats you can but you know it would be better to have it'd be easier if you had a cap driver but you can do hats with it um but embroidery is a whole different level of services that more professional people tend to reach out for and look for now sublimation is good if you this is my uh thought process i would suggest so if you are already doing very very well with your sublimation and you're super busy hard to keep up with your orders then embroidery may not be a good fit because you have to learn it get into it blah 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 and it may take you away from sublimation but if you're not super, super, super busy with your sublimation, give it a shot. I mean, you already got it. And I mean, even though you don't want to wait too long past your return period, but um, or to get too close to your return period. But embroidery has been awesome. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And it, again, does open up a whole different arena of services that you can do uh, with your business if you're choosing to do so um let me make sure because i scrolled down some walk by faith you can go to i just had it it was google workspace workspace.google.com workspace.google.com sammy the pj mommy i love that name that sounds so cool okay let me see and hello or walk by faith i i do want to greet you greet you i had the mighty hoops and they didn't work kept popping off kept popping off of what d ashley what in the world was you putting in the mighty hoops now heavy 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 stuff can weigh too much and pop off but i haven't had anything yet pop off of those mighty hoops nothing I just added a Janome MC550E. I'm hoping to start doing all the things in 2022. Congratulations on your Janome MC550E. Woo! Yes. Holler. <laughs> oh, I just bought some of those scissors. Only one pair left. What scissors? Are you kidding? That quick? Let me see. 
two left in stock. Y'all hate. Yeah, so if you're going to get them, you better get them now. Oh, and the resin. If you're going to get into doing the resin, if you want to join me on the resin train, because I'm going to be doing some resin projects, she only has a certain amount of bottles left. I think she's down to like 15 bottles. So if you're going to get resin, now would be the time to... Oh, that's the link I was supposed to post. Hold on. To the best uni. Um, let's see. Actually, you know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this real quick. jamming to myself we need some music like uh 755 i'm gonna have to borrow 755's music and play it sometime 755 one of these days we gonna have to uh commission some of your music so that we can jam in here on this channel because the music i got i could play it but it'll be funner if we have some fun music and i like your music um let's see there we go This is what we fence to do. This is what we fence to do. You know what? Let me not do that yet. I'm going to ask first before I do that. Because that's rude to assume. So we're going to go here. And we're going to go here. No, not here. Here. No. Is that right? Nope, that wasn't right. Hold on. Sorry. There we go. There she is. Okay. So, I'm going to post an Instagram link. Uh, what is this? Resin. UV resin. All right. In box for order requests. Okay, so for right now, I posted a link to her Instagram. Just shoot her an inbox and say, I want to get a bottle. I want to get two bottles. Um, I just made a couple of tracks today. Call me so you can hear and pick something. Ma'am, I want the bomb. I want the bomb one. I want, I, want, I want the original. That original is fire. Y'all have to hear 755. Her, her, her jam, I be in here like, hey. <laughs> I mean, my son laughed. That one that just left, he was laughing at me like, Mom, really? I'm sorry. It don't take much to make me happy. And I like her little beat. And her little beat is totally awesome. It's simple. It ain't no whole bunch of cussing. It's, it's a beat. And that's that. That's all I need to get the moving and grooving. And I love it. And it's just the cool i love her little song it's just i keep calling it a little song it's not a little song but it's just i'm just saying that because it's just so cool that i wish i could have made my own music I, I mean i had what's the name of that on my tablet i got garage band thingy or whatever the name of that thing is so i probably could make something but hers is awesome how much is her resin uni are you in here baby if so post how much your resin is i want to say a price i'm pretty sure i said the right price i did put a carhartt jacket in carhartt is gonna jump off d is you got to babysit that <laughs> you're gonna have to babysit carhartt i went to y'all i was gonna do a video i was like oh i'm gonna do a carhartt jacket i keep hearing about this carhartt jacket we're gonna do is so i'm gonna show y'all hooping the carhartt jacket and we was gonna do a full back on a carhartt jacket right i went to the store to get the carhartt jacket and when i seen the price i was like you know what we not doing no Carhartt jacket. Not not just for no video. That's not gonna happen. So the Carhartt jacket stayed at the store, and it was on sale, and it stayed at the store. You know what I'm saying? Cause I I'll buy some stuff to play with, and you know what I'm saying. But mm 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 mm. That was no. That was gonna stay at the store. So yeah, Carhartt was gonna jump off of that. That's a heavy jacket. Very heavy. It's a little jingle. It ain't no jingle, girl. That's a bomb. That's the beat. I love it. Uh, you moving to Oklahoma? Not Oklahoma, D. Let me make sure. I had to scroll back up. Buckley Air Force Base. 
he's a handsome young fella. Thank you, Nakomi. Oh, Uni, I see you in here. Let us know how much your, your bottle is. Can never have too many pairs of scissors. I'm relocating my craft room and can't believe how many scissors I have found. And I haven't even gone through previous curtain. I'm going to show you my favorite, favorite, favorite scissors. Amazon has a four-piece titanium set for four, for $9.99 that are awesome as well. Uh, Four-piece titanium set. I'll look that up. Does anyone use all those stickers that you can use in the Happy Planner? You mean these stickers? You mean you mean these these stickers like like that right there? Stickers like that that are still in the pack unopened. And then I bought printable sticker paper because I was gonna do some um, stickers with y'all. Have I done that yet? Mm, needs to be put on the oh my gosh it's five minutes till i didn't realize it was that late what type of crafting planner are you referring to teresa um i don't know if you're talking to me but the planner crafting planner is there if you go on to creative fabrica which i have a link in the description below if you go to creative fabrica they have all kinds of planners and there's one that's a social media planner that way you can plan out your YouTube post, your Facebook post, your Instagram post. They also, um, you can put, have like crafting where you're going to be crafting and doing certain projects and stuff. So definitely check that out. Um, I just, hold on. Hoop Tech. Thank you, Miss Beckham. Y'all see, y'all know. Y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Y'all know. Baby Lock, Andrea Ross. If it's Baby Lock, then call Baby Lock and let them know it's not working with your machine. They need to fix that. Oh, they will fix that. They they have to because it, it should work with your thing. So yeah, definitely call them. Miss mm, Bickham says, "Papa said you are awesome too." Tell Papa said, "Thank you. I appreciate that. I miss y'all. I'm gonna have to come back down there when this mess blows over." Um, our machine doesn't list the mighty hoops either, so I just select the hoop that hoops closest to the hoop and be sure to trace. Right. So none of the machines really have it listed that's about the only way to make it work mm, one post scissors um okay miss beckham you said four piece titanium let's look that up real quick y'all with our last five minutes because i don't talk so much and then I'm going to show y'all, let's see, titanium, four piece, four piece titanium. Can I spell? All right, let's see. Shop with me. Shop with me. So four piece titanium. So here's four pieces, but this is for hair. Oh, doll grooming. Yikes. We know that's not it. Um, Four pieces. That's five. That's no. That's three. That's hair. That's three. Tim Holtz has excellent scissors. Tim Holtz scissors are really good scissors too. Excellent. They These scissors are serrated. I love these scissors. I had a pair. I think they're in the drawer. I, I hope I still have them because them jokers was expensive. Um, when I bought them back then, they've come down since then. Uh, Cutter B Precision Scissors, Kitchen and Duty. Let me know if you see the scissors. Even though I can't see the jet. Oh, here's some 8-inch Soft Comfort Grip. Are these the scissors right here you were talking about? Hang on, y'all. Let me switch my thing so that I can see it. Scroll down. So, is there a special powder for color with UV resin? Uh, no. Kai scissors are really good too. Yeah, Kai, Tim Holtz, they're really similar. 
Kai, I like Kai as well. I have a um, scissor, a Kai scissor holder from them. My mama made me a sweet potato pie today, and I ate it all by myself, and didn't I give my kids a smell of it? And ain't nothing wrong with that. Um. Oh, actually, sorry. I'm supposed to be switching y'all back over. Are these the scissors, Miss Bickham? Let me know, please. So I can be sure I'm telling folks about the right thing. Because you know how stuff changes and stuff. Um, let's see. Mostly sew, embroidery, resin, a little bit of everything. They're by CCR. Okay, this is it. Okay. So if y'all want to, I can link these. Miss Bickham uses them and she says they're good. Um, I just like a nice, heavy, comfortable, but heavy duty pair of scissors. So, I absolutely love a good pair of skizzers. Not sure what was said, but if this was it, you can add the hoops you use instead of using what's close. Depending upon the machine, that is correct. So, like on the um, Six Needle Brother, you can't add hoops. Um, so, it's not possible. But you can add them on the red line. Wait a minute. Yeah, you can add them on the red line, but you can't add them on the um, brother. It will only recognize the hoops that come with it. So, okay. Let's link those skizzers to... Um, copy and paste. And I will put all of these in the description. They're great for vinyl as well. Um, what's I know that song? What's I know what song? Let's pick them. Let me see. Try to be an Oki from Miss Gogi. Miss Gogi. Good night, Leslie Ram. Baby's booty. I'm one hour and 45 minutes away from Charlotte. Once this pandemic is over, I'm coming to meet you. Girl, roll on down here, ma'am. We love folks here. And like I said, uh, September, I will definitely be. Glad I was paying attention to the to the chat. Thank you for letting me know the sound is gone. Yeah, the battery died in that thing. Here you go, Laverne. Here is the link to the planners. And it's about time to get off anyway. It's after 11. I should have been off. So, but it's all right. Thank y'all for letting me know the sound was gone. We get snow tomorrow. Yeah, not sure how much yet. I'm hoping that we'll get some. So, hopefully. But thank you. I pre Oh, Dr. Phil Cunningham. Hey, sugar. Welcome. Thank you for coming to join us. Is the sound back? It should be because I see my, my meter bar bouncing around up there from talking. And y'all are behind a little itty bitty bit. So thank you, Mina Rowe. I appreciate that. Thank you. They're great for vinyl as well. Okay, cool. Laverne, I did post the planners in the chat that I use. I use the Happy Planners. Um, and the one that I have is the desktop version. So they have a, a not desktop version, but the, it's desktop, but it's um, the layout is the desktop layout. All right. That's what I'm trying to say. So like this is the called the desktop layout. They also have a vertical layout. Then they have a... Um, horizontal layout they got all kind of layouts you can choose from but mine is the desktop layout so look at the different layouts and see which one fits you the best 
okay because that's the whole point the thing is supposed to be tailored to you so definitely check that out all right y'all so i got a prince embroidery stitch and a prince svg file can't wait to try both that's right everything prince ma'am that's where it should be so y'all i hope you have oh crafty puerto rican snow in maryland you be careful with the snow no no i still see sound hey shonda small willis welcome thank you for joining us hope to get my job back soon i hope so too thunderstorms just dropped out of the sky in atlanta Ooh, be careful tampa barbecue queens well y'all have a good night i'm getting ready to head out and i will be posting more update information here on youtube in the post section about um the second sunday and the members being able to come in and um have a live with y'all before the regular show with everybody else so look for that next sunday um, the links are in the, the chat, but I'm going to repost those links in the description for the Asa paper, for the UV resin, for the skizzers, for the other skizzers, even though the first skizzers are sold out for the other skizzers, and then for the planners, and what was the first thing I posted? It was something I posted first. I can't remember what it is. I um, can't remember what it is. So we'll figure that out, but um, definitely check the description for those posts. And I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I just knew the bell was just going to ring so much that I wouldn't be able to talk about nothing. So, you know, I was shocked, but <laughs> it's all right. We had fun. Um, again, I'm looking forward to doing some resin crafts with you guys, some sewing crafts with you guys. Looking forward to that too. And more posting trying to do more videos on here you guys trying to trying to up our video game so i'm excited about that as well so um up all a part of the git challenge now i didn't really get to finish talking about the git challenge and the next step so we'll talk about the next step in the facebook group okay if i don't do a standalone video um but the next part is actually really cool something i was able to pick up from off of amazon and i have been having a lot of fun with it lately so hopefully we'll get you guys tagged in that um and let you know all about that here coming up soon so thank you very much for joining me tonight i had a ball for those of you in inclement weather please be careful for those of you hopefully none of you were in the burnout up in boulder colorado uh, but if so our prayers are with you stay safe please no sicknesses please stay safe um and we look forward to seeing you all next week here again 9 p.m eastern standard time on the baby's booty channel so until the next time we see you we hope you have a good night bye <laughs>